Welcome back to Brick Tech, guys. This is Doug. Uh, I got a request for a quick video by uh, Dylan Fossa. Uh, he'd asked if I would please do um, uh, show him how to do smooth scrolling. And uh, let me give you a quick example of smooth scrolling. This is my website, um, douglasburg.com. If you click any of the links at the top, you'll see what I mean by smooth scrolling. It, uh, it gently scrolls the page using like an ease in out uh, down to whatever section you've selected uh, for the link to target. So there it is, going down to portfolio, and one more time, taking you down to the services. So, uh, so that's what we're going to do tonight. Give me one moment. Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and do it on the materialized project because I think that's the project he was working through. That's where he left his comment. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so the smooth scrolling implementation that I used, uh, I found at CSSTricks.com. Uh, they have a couple different ways to do it here. Uh, this one using native JavaScript and the second one using jQuery. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily put jQuery on a site just to use the smooth scrolling. There's better ways to do it as you, as you can see here and, and I'll leave a link to this article in the description. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate this code into our project and all this does is jQuery takes a, uh, has a function, we, we write a function and we want to grab anytime there's a click on a uh, on an anchor tag that goes to um, a, you know a hashed out link on our site, meaning that it goes to an ID. Uh, we want to go ahead and set the target to that location, and then we want to move the the scroll um, down to that position. So so that's what we're we're going to be doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and we'll go ahead and open up Atom. Uh, we'll want to go into our JavaScript. We'll go to our scripts. That's what we currently have in here. Uh, I'm just going to paste this in so we can kind of see what we've got. And fix the tabs just a bit. Um, so what we want to do is go ahead and save that off. And now we need to check in on our HTML to make sure that we actually have targets for those links. So those links are up here. And we didn't and when we made this site we did not include targets so we need to go down to the services section we need to make sure that there's an ID of services on this section and we can actually we can just add it to the top here now after services we have about work contact and blog Obviously, the blog's on a different site, so that one won't uh, won't smooth scroll. That one would be an external link, so uh, we will not be modifying that one. All right, so we got our call to action. Here's our about section, so we'll just add an ID of about there. Here's our work section, so we'll just add an ID of work. Make sure I'm going all lowercase so I know how to spell it. When I go back to incorporate it into my my links, uh, let's see, and contact. I think that was the last one. Yeah, there's the footer. So let's go back up to the top. Let's find those links and let's go ahead and give them targets. So. So we have services about work and contact. I'm not sure how it would look if we did it for the slide out mobile nav. I don't know that smooth scrolling makes a lot of sense in that case. Um, we can test it, I suppose. So I'll go ahead and add that here as well. So we'll save that off. Let's go see what happens to the site. All right, and that is all there is to it. Now we have smooth scrolling incorporated onto our site. So again, all it does is we use jQuery, we write a function, we say jQuery anytime someone clicks uh, an anchor tag that leads to uh, an href that is uh, that starts with a hash, meaning that it goes to an ID. Uh, we want to run this click function, and if um, if we're not already at that path name, then we want to go ahead and replace it with a new path name, and then we'll go ahead and um, move down to the target, the new target. 
and that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. I really appreciate you watching. And if you have requests for videos, let me know. I'm happy to do these. Um, I, I often run out of ideas for, for short little videos like this that would really help people. So please, if you have a, a request for a video, go ahead and leave it in the, uh, in the description or I'm sorry, in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Doug with Break Tech.